What's up everybody? This is just a quick, quick pre-showing of the latest episode of Sisters, um, season seven, episode 12. I just couldn't wait. I'm going to do a, a full review, as you know, with Sir Daryl, but for right now, this is going to be a quick, my perspective. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Mom. Is everything okay? Your call sounds so urgent. Um. Yeah, I, I got a call from the doctor. <sighs> Is it the babies? <sighs> yeah, but. For everybody watching, that's uh, Karen's mom, which you should know, but for the people who don't know, I'm, I gotta narrate and do a lot of stopping on this episode. Anyway, but um, as you know, Karen, she just, uh, we found out that she's having twins, one from Aaron, one is from Zach, and I believe right now she's breaking the news to her mother that she has two different uh, baby daddies. Medically, everything is fine, so, oh, okay, good. Is it Zach? Because if it's Zach, I no, will no, so go... it's not Zach. It's not that. Well, what is it? The results for the paternity test came back. Oh, okay. And, uh... Zach's not the father? No. He is. Oh. Well, then... Well, that, that's good, right? That's good news. That's what you wanted. Of one of the babies. Uh, wait a second. Oh, of one of the babies? I don't understand what you're saying. What do you mean? The doctor said it was rare, but, um... I think that's, like, so rare. Very, very, very rare. <laughs> I, I tried to look it up online. I mean, obviously it's a thing, but wow. I mean, the chances of that happening to Karen. And, you know, I think the thing that in the back of Karen's mind, she feels like this is gonna make her look a certain way, which it does, you know. You know, guys can get away with it because they don't have to walk around pregnant for nine months, but, you know, this, this makes it look even worse, you know. happen especially if you have been with both fathers within the population period so Aaron is one of the fathers yes oh, oh, oh. I, I don't understand how that's possible but okay so you have two terrific wonderful fathers mama do you know what this makes me look like uh-huh. A slut. Honey, why do you always worry about stuff like that? You know, everybody has done something wrong in their lives. You are no different, you know? People just gonna think I'm some loose woman, Mama, I'm telling you. <clears throat> Honey, don't worry about what anybody else has to say. Except Aaron and Zach. Those are the only two. Oh, by the way, have you said anything to Aaron and Zach yet? That's Zach now. Answer it. Um, I'm predicting, I think, when I predict that uh, Zach is not going to have an issue with this, um, you know, he doesn't like Aaron for, you know, whatever reason, but he's like super goofy. I think Zach is not going to care. I don't think Aaron's going to care. They're just going to be happy to be uh, fathers. Even though they might not like each other, they're just going to be happy. All right, so now we're on the scene with uh, Fatima, we got Gary, and Andy. And uh, if I recall, they're uh, approaching Gary about uh, Penelope. 
trying to find out about her whereabouts. Uh, and Fatima, once again, is, you know, putting a little more pressure on, trying to get some information. Fatima, don't! Please, please. And he's not gonna admit it. <laughs> admit what? I didn't do anything. I mean, the, the only thing I'm guilty of is being fine as hell. Don't you agree, Andy? Gary, this has gone too far. How do... Why does it look like, um... Andy's like is always like slightly grinning when when she's talking to Gary. Or maybe it's just me, or maybe that's just her new facial structure. It just always looks like she's like slightly, slightly grinning, slightly blushing. It's just kind of annoying. But well, I know you didn't do something to her. I mean, you are the one that's trying to get her to leave me. Gary, you know damn well I didn't do anything to That's kind of true. Well, we know that Andy didn't do anything to her. But if I recall, didn't didn't um, Andy set up like a car or, or like a, 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 a way for her to disappear? If I'm not mistaken, I think I remember Andy setting up something for Penelope to disappear and get away, if I recall. But I could be mistaken. To Penelope. Where is she? Just tell me, please. Listen, you two crazy need to get the out of my office before it gets ugly up in here. Gary, nobody's scared of you. We will let the law deal with this. Let's go. The law. I'm out of here. Thank you for coming by, ladies. Oh. Like, <clears throat> I love how Andy keeps saying that we're going to let the law deal with this, but she has to know that it's going to look bad on her. A, a lot of it's going to trace back to her, I think. You know, she had, she, she, had some, she had some intel that she kept secret. That's all I'm saying. Um, once again, her new boyfriend took took money from Gary. That's that's gonna look all types of shady, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he funded uh, uh, the boyfriend's campaign. I don't know. My goodness, I own the police. Yes, um, I, I did. Okay, what'd they say? I'd rather tell you in person. Would you mind coming over tomorrow evening? You can't just tell me now. No, um... Uh, Karen's definitely being goofy in this moment, as a lot of times she is. She should have just told him over the phone. Like, we already know you're pregnant. Just, just get the news out there. Let's just... Come on, let's stop playing. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you like these videos. And if you want to see more, if you want to see future videos also, let me know so I can keep the content going and growing. It's better it's not over the phone. All right, fine. I'll come out tomorrow. All right. I'll see you then. Okay. What about Aaron? I'll call him now. See, you should have let me cut his ass. Fatima? We have to go to the police. Andy, but what? We don't have enough to take to them. I saw blood on the wall when we were leaving. Yeah. Andy, is she carrying his child? He would hurt a baby. So she saw blood on the wall, and, and once this gets back to um, 
uh, Andy's boyfriend, he's gonna he should be infuriated. He should be so upset now. She sees blood on the wall, but yet she has not. She didn't tell this guy anything yet that his sister is in danger. Or could be dead, or could be harmed, because she saw blood. I don't know, Andy. Trash. Honestly, I feel like Gary will do whatever it takes to get what he wants. He has to go to the police, right? No, you need to call Jordan first. Oh my god, Jordan. Yeah. I honestly think it's best if he files a police report. He's gonna be devastated. Okay, well, <clears throat> I'm gonna get over to him now. Alright. Okay. gonna go go on I I don't think she really obviously she doesn't really like Hayden but uh <clears throat> at the same time I, does she really like Gary does she she's been uh shacking up with Gary but at the same time it's like she recorded Gary for some reason so I don't know if she I don't know what her intentions are you know does she just need a, play, a place to lay her head? I mean, if I'm not mistaken, she had her own place. I don't know. It's been kind of crazy lately, but it's starting to look up for me. You've been holding me down through it all. Of course, baby. Mm. Because I love you. <laughs> but... Uh, 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 uh. No buts. I want you to sit down and relax. <laughs> Let me uh, pour you a little wine. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, baby. Thank you. I know you have that big case at work. I don't need you doing all of this. I ain't gotta worry about that. Damn. It's calling me. I'm trying to spend some time with my lady now. <laughs> uh, hold on one second. Shit. Um. Hello? Hayden, where the hell is Miss Bowles? I've been trying to reach her. Uh. Hi, Mrs. Willis. Uh, I mean, Marie. Um, I'm not sure. Um, everything okay? I need to see the two of you pronto, but your co-counsel is nowhere to be found. Yes, ma'am. I'll be there. So, you know that case you were just talking about? Um, that was her. Wow, that's crazy. Andy can't be reached. Obviously, her phone isn't off because she never turns it off, but she, I don't know. Did she turn off notifications? I don't know. But um, Andy, Andy is a, she is a trash lawyer. And I'm going to stand by that. Let me get my keys, but um, I will see you later tonight, okay? Okay, baby. I love you. Handle your business. I will. <laughs> I love you, too. <laughs> <laughs> You know, that works out perfectly for her because she didn't want to stay home anyway. She wanted to go see Gary. Funny. Hey. Where were you? I came by your house. In Macon, remember? Uh, I have the Georgia Coalition meeting in the morning. Oh, well. Yeah, I forgot. You good? I wanted to discuss something with you, but it can wait. 
She's just digging her. I mean, she's in reality, she would be in too deep relationship wise anyway. It would be over. But unless she's going to withhold all this information she just saw that there's blood on the wall, uh, Gary has possibly, possibly done something to Penelope. I tried to get her out of here. Why would you say that can wait? You see a, a blood stained wall. And that can wait? No. I have to do a 7.30 prayer breakfast. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, good night. Sweet James, beautiful. Mm. <laughs> Just can't get enough of me, huh? Obviously, they're going to have sex, so let's finish that. So now we fast forward <clears throat> to Fatima and Zach in their house and their many children. <laughs> Wait till you get a girl. Bossy. She's bossy. I'm sorry, I went too far ahead. It's hard to... Uh, Your house? In Macon, remember? Uh, I have the Georgia Coalition meeting in the morning. Oh, well, yeah, I forgot. You good? I wanted to discuss something with you, but it can wait. Oh, huh. okay. Well, I better get some sleep. They decided to do a 7.30 prayer breakfast. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, good night. Sweet James, beautiful. Get enough of me, huh? Come here. You like my dress? Hell <laughs> yeah. Jackie Juice, baby. There you go. What's up, baby? Hey. Mm -hmm. What's going on? What's up, little man? You full? <laughs> I'm about to go run before work, okay? Okay, well, mm. Karen just called. She got the results back. And? She didn't want to tell me over the phone. And why the hell? Mm. I'm sorry, baby. Why not? She said she wanted to tell me face to face, so. Mm. Okay, so when is this little face to face meeting happening? She invited me to come over to her place tonight, mm -hmm. so. Okay, great. I'll meet you there. Just let me know what time. I'll, I'll, I'll meet. Mm -hmm. As in you, I'll as in mm -hmm. you. As in us. Yeah, because if I don't go, you don't go. And we'll just find out in court. Okay. Right on cue. You know, with Fatima, okay, we already know Karen's knocked up, about to burst. They're not gonna have sex, Fatima. Like, what 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 is the purpose of you even going or want to to show up unannounced again? Because obviously Zach isn't gonna call Karen and let her know. Why why do you wanna go? Just just to stir up drama, you know you guys can't sit in the same room. That brunch, the mocktails thing just happened. Why would you wanna go? What, what, what is going to happen other than him getting results? You're not there to support him. You just want to be in the room. 
to cause confusion. Even if you want to sit out in the car, I'll go for that, but why would you want to go to stir up drama, to be needy, to be annoying, to be aggravated? Ugh, just like this lawnmower. Fatima needs to cut it out. She needs to cut it out. What's up, baby? Okay, it's okay. Daddy will get it. <laughs> mm, gotta go. See you later. Yes, master. Master. Yo, you think people tell you what to do now? Wait till you get a girl. Bossy. Bossy. I just did. Did you do? Watch. Hey, girl. What's up, branch manager? Nothing. What do you have going on? Aren't y'all busy this morning? We just had a big rush, but now I'm about to take a break until this next one. Please maintain. Yeah, I feel you, girl. So, uh, you talk to your jealous pregnant friend, huh? No, Danny, I haven't spoken to her, and you really need to call her and apologize. For what? For you said some really harsh stuff to her. Well, she said some harsher earth stuff, okay? Why well, gotta always be the first one to apologize, huh? Do you forget she's pregnant? Did you forget she's your friend? I can tell you what it is. She got twin bugs up her ass, and now she think everybody's supposed to bow down to her, and it ain't happening. Okay, look. Uh, Whatever it is between you two, I just need you guys to talk it out, okay? No, I just don't know why. She's not the worst of the sisters, but she gives some of the, the worst advice, like whatever it is between you two, as if you weren't sitting in the middle of it. Like Danny <clears throat> came to your, your, uh, your boyfriend's venue and brought alcohol when you know the purpose of the mocktails was to support you guys and not drinking. Uh, uh, Sabrina's trying to get pregnant and both Fatima and Danny broke out alcohol and started drinking. Now, one might call that a slap in the face. Was it meant to be funny? Maybe. But it was kind of disrespectful. You know, especially in her new boyfriend's venue. You know. Why she gotta be so sensitive about Fatima? I like the girl, okay? Shit. That's not fair, Danny. You know, she's been through a lot. And I'm sure her hormones got her all over the place. All right. Maybe I'll call her. Maybe I'll stop by her house after work, okay? Okay, good. Mm -hmm. That's what I like to hear. That's what we do in our sister circle anyway. Now, even though this olive branch that, uh, that Danny might extend even though that is a good thing, that's kind of cool. That doesn't even make any sense, though. You know, because she was firm on saying F-U-C-K to, uh, to Karen. So now all of a sudden, after one, one evening, but it's only been a day, you're willing to, to extend an apology to her or even say you might extend an apology to her. That makes zero sense. None at all. Especially after screwing a girl over by bringing Fatima uh in inviting Fatima to the mocktails that friendship is supposed to be over or take a long time to heal love and sisterhood whatever Brina ah. hey hey so how did everything go did you guys go to the place no I forgot he had a meeting in Macon. Oh, Andy, so you still haven't heard from her? No. It's... I called her several times. <sighs> Ain't no telling his grimy ass. I'm just saying. This is all my fault. Andy, this is not your fault. Gary is deranged and clearly raised by a damn pack of wolves. Or worse... This is why you should have let me shank his ass and put him out of his misery. Okay, I'm, I'm just saying. Wait. Knock, knock. Fatima's all talk when it 
come to that shank and she didn't stab or, or, or slice or do anything, but she's all tall. What do you want, Hayden? Hey, Miss Barnes. Free Tima. Okay. Uh, Fatima, so funny. Yeah. Uh, Fatima, could you give us a moment, please? Gladly. Mm -hmm. What is it that you need, Mr. Moss? Well, I'm glad that you're in a good mood. Because Mrs. Marie Willis is going to have you ask for breakfast. Why? What are you talking about? Well, I came to inform you about our little impromptu meeting. What meeting? She wanted to see us. You were nowhere to be found. But why the hell didn't you call me? Well, we tried. You know, and you know what's even hilarious? So, Miss Marie, high profile client, couldn't get in contact with Andy. Maybe it's possible Hayden couldn't get in contact with Andy. Also possible because maybe she had some block for whatever reason. But why couldn't Miss Marie get in contact with Fatima, the secretary? Oh, I know why, because Fatima's never been in her office. She never takes any messages. She never takes notes. So why is it that the secretary couldn't be contacted or, or reached also? Because that's how it works out anyway, right? I'm just, a, a, am I wrong? Hmm. Miss Marie couldn't get in contact with Andy or Fatima or I guess that whole office, I don't know. But I'm pretty sure there's an office number and it would ring in Fatima's office. So who do I blame for that? I'm gonna blame Fatima. <laughs> but I'm sure you'll be hearing from her soon. Oh, looks like soon is now. I'll come back. This is Mrs. Barnes. I'm glad to see your phone is working now. Miss Marie, I'm so sorry. I had a, a, a personal engagement. Miss Barnes, don't bore me with your personal issues. I pay you to fix mine. I don't want to hear yours. You're right. Uh, I apologize. Listen. I know you're capable of handling my divorce. Otherwise, I wouldn't have hired you. But I suggest whatever you have going on, you settle it quickly before Mr. Moss becomes my only counsel. Of course. That is all. Have a fabulous day. You do the same. Hello? Hello? Miss, Miss Murray? Okay. You ready to talk now? She better be. She better get off that high horse. <clears throat> and why not find out? Did she even, even investigate and see why I wasn't getting these calls? Or even find out how come it, it didn't get forwarded? <laughs> see if the issue doesn't happen again? Of course not. Of course not. <laughs> Not even the right place, Sabrina. To think. Okay. Okay. Who are you calling trailer park trash? You ball spot, Becky. You think you're so special because you got to come back here? Everyone knows it's because you're friends with Sabrina. Yes, Denise. And that's Miss Holly. Once again, here we go. So we already knew that uh, Maurice was going to be cutting up back to his old ways. And, and, and Sabrina, like an idiot, brings him back on a loose, on a loose leash. And, and, and obviously she likes it, you know. Yeah, that he can be your friend, but from afar. Oh, you, you can't, guys can't be the same type of type to friends if you're the branch man if you're his direct boss or branch manager you guys can't be the same type of friends especially with his personality 
and he knows that he can run over Sabrina. To you, and I'm here because I'm good at my job. Unlike you with your no count name. How dare you, you spam eating. Young white privileged men like you really bother me. No! She is misusing his hello? privilege. Hello, hello. You played volleyball, lady. My voice is, please, please. What is going on? Don't ask me. Uh, I had a diet soda under the counter and he took it. Girl, nobody. Ain't nobody drink that funky soda. Are you two seriously making a commotion over a soda right now? No. We're arguing because she is trying to say that I'm a thief. I was going to drink that soda with my lunch. Gary? You need to drink water. Your skin is begging Maurice. for it. Uh, yeah, leave the Coke alone. Hey, I hope hey. you enjoyed it because it's the closest you'll get to a diet. Okay. How about you die? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I will get you a new soda. I'll get you 12. Okay, Carrie. Thank you, Maurice. In my office. Why well, I got to go to the office? Maurice! No! Carrie? Hmm. Could you please take care of the customers? Sure. Thank you. I'm watching you, young man. Please. Quiet! So I see you're real handsy. Yeah, some skills I picked up here and there, you know? Is this your side hustle? Uh, not really. But there's somebody I know nearby. So I see he's still hanging around. Uh... I'm assuming he's very interested in uh, Karen, which is kind of cool, kind of unique, you know. See where it goes. I hope I don't mind helping. Good karma. Karma? That's deep. Are you a booty? Do you <laughs> chant? Nah, I wouldn't say all that. But uh, some principles and stuff I try to live by, you know, keeps me grounded. See? So how's it going selling your hair products? Thank you for asking. It's going really good. I can't even make the stuff fast enough. Nice. Yeah. That's, that's what's up. Congratulations. You know, I really hope it gets you out there. And you could be big time like Marjorie Joyner or somebody. Who is that? Well, she was a famous hair care entrepreneur. Wow, well, I never heard of her. You should look her up. It may inspire you to go bigger. So you smart and you handsy. <laughs> I see you, Trey. Okay. You all set now, all right? Uh, Pam? Yeah? Can you please check Miss Rolanda out for me? Of course. Alrighty, I'll see you next week. Come on, Miss Rowe, girl. I got you. Man, I love uh, Karen's shop. Just the angles that I, that I see, is it, it looks so nice and clean. Well, her old shop was nice also, but this one, man, it's so easy, breezy, and airy. You want to get some of this roots to Richard? Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Trey. Thank you so much for doing this on your day off. Yeah, it's all good, Karen. I was just talking to Pam, saying I don't mind helping y'all out. Oh, well, I appreciate it. We appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Danny. if I didn't need to. Yeah, 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 what's up? What do you need? Um, could you maybe definitely watch the kids for me this evening? That's such baloney. So it is, you could have asked anybody else on the planet to, to watch your kids and you choose, you choose uh, Danny, which makes zero sense. You know that she hates kids you know that she's not a, a a role model or or any type of to give parental guidance but you pick this person you could have got a babysitter i'm pretty sure you have one on call but you choose not to unless he has a reason for this maybe he wants to see how she handles motherhood maybe i don't know but it's kind of stupid and it's going to be double stupid if she uh, agrees to it Sagan. Look, I'm so sorry to spring this on you last minute, but I'm in a bit of a bind, okay? I was supposed to have a meeting with the overseas execs tomorrow, but something happened, so they have to be on the first plane out of here in the morning, so the meeting is tonight. Um, what, what about your auntie, Nanny? You know, she's... I called her. 
She's already on a bingo retreat with her friends. Babe, I really need you. Well, okay, what time? Because, you know, I got that thing with Karen after work and, you know, yeah. me and her. The meeting, the meeting is not even until 7. So, you know, we can just wait for you at your apartment. Yes? Mm-hmm. It works. That works. Oh, thank you, babe. Thank you so much. You know I owe you big time. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make it up to you. You know that, right? You better. Come on, always. Okay. Thank you. I don't know. I just couldn't do it myself. Well, honey, you know Maurice does all. Doctor, nurse, actor. Mm-hmm. Wait, is she... Are they still at work? Is that where uh, she took that hormone shot? And is that why she called him in the office? I mean, I'm pretty sure it was more to it than that, but... I think that was an inappropriate place to take that shot. And I'm pretty sure that's why everybody feels that he's only there because of the friendship you guys have. Hello? What about Peacekeeper? How did you just get here and you're already starting stuff? Mm -mm. That white woman started with me. And I'm going to give her what the she's asking for. Maurice, did you... Did you take her soda? Yes. My sugar was low. Keep up with my A1C. Maurice, you can't do that. You can't keep stirring stuff up here. They're already getting weird and thinking that you're only here because of me. I'm only here because of you. Yeah, I know. But we don't need to let them know that. Okay, bitch, whatever. I won't drink any more juices. Good. So what are you going to do this evening? Oh, me and Rich are going to watch a new episode of uh, Justin Bones. Trigger of the show. The show where they be just boning? Y'all nasty. What's up, baby? Hey, you on your way? Yep, I text Karen before I started driving, and I'll be there shortly. Okay, I'm headed to my car now. I'll see you there. Cop. Uh, uh, baby, can you do me a favor? Can you leave the Vaseline and sneaker energy at home, please? This is so stupid. Just, just another situation, just like the mocktails event. We see all the ingredients for chaos, which, you know, makes for good TV. Obviously, they like it, but... You know that they don't get along, but yet you're still just going to see how it pans out. You know, let's just see what happens. Huh. Look, I won't come for her as long as she don't come for me. I don't even know how to answer that. Boy, I'll see you there. Fine, but hey, Fatima, leave your gun. Hello? I was just about to call you. Hey, beautiful. I thought you were coming to see me. Still need to talk to me? Yes, I do. I'm leaving the office now. Okay. Hey, I still haven't heard from Penelope. Has she reached out to you? No, I haven't spoken to her. Maybe I should go by her place. I, I, I tried calling Gary, but he isn't answering either. Okay, Jordan, uh, don't go over there or do anything stupid, okay? You just wait till I get to you. Oh. Okay. Why so serious? <clears throat> Jordan, I will explain when I get there, okay? She just put herself six feet under in reality, but on this show, it, it'll probably get brushed off as a why you didn't tell me, but blood on the wall. This, she had all this information and held it in, held it in for so long. I'll see you soon. Is there something you're not telling me? Come in. <sighs> hey. 
Hey, what's up? No, 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 do that. Zach. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Zach. Nope, she deserves to know who the father is. So here we go. Once again, I, you walk right in this girl's house, uninvited. And I'm pretty sure people are not going to see a problem with that. Right now, as it looks like, you know, Karen's being tame right now because, you know, she can be a fool too, but... You know, you just don't do that. She, she, Fatima's walking in with a smile on her face, knowing that's wrong, knowing that's wrong. You don't walk on somebody's side. This is the second time she's doing this, and, and this time she she knows darn well she wasn't supposed to be there. Even if she wanted to stand outside, she could have done that. But you don't walk in somebody's house like that. Fatima was dead wrong. Trash. I'm sorry. No. This is well. So can we come in? Thanks. I don't want no mess today. I didn't come to start any mess. I'm just here to support Zach. Mm-hmm. So, we're here, laying on us. What the results say? I can't tell you yet. <laughs> why can't you tell us? I thought that's why we were here. It is. But I'm waiting for a special guest. <sighs> Who's the special guest? Yeah, because, um, some of us have things to do. Well... You know what, Big Mouth, Big Mouth, who can't answer the phone at her own job, you're not even supposed to do. You say some of us got things to do, but you just contradicted yourself because you said you were there to support Zach. So what else you got to do if you're not there to support Zach? Because you're a liar. Some of us weren't invited. Oh, well, some of us yeah. just want to know when the guest is coming. They'll be here soon, okay. any minute. You, you good? I'm fine. How about you? You good? Okay. We all fine. We just fine. Eight. Special guest. There we go. Special guest. Here we go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Special guest. All right, bitch. You want him to ravish you, not run from you. Not too much. Some of us have things to do. Well. I don't care. For what, what are you doing here? I need to talk to you. What? Mm-hmm. What's going on here? So Danny's the special guest? Yeah. Danny, <clears throat> I feel like Danny's got a lot of nerve showing up there. Um, yes, she is there to apologize. Yes, she just walked in uninvited, but she is a sister, so she gets a pass on that. Um, Danny, Danny did some messed up stuff. She did some trash stuff. You know, she should have called... Well, if she would have called Karen, I don't know if Karen would have received it, but I don't know. No, she's not. What are you doing here, huh? I was going to talk to you about some things, but this is, this is way more interesting. Hey, Tim. Hey, Danny. How you doing, boo? Good. Like you're here. Thanks. Sam, what's going on? No, Danny, we're not doing that because you're not even supposed to be here. Oh, we are here for the DNA test results. Yes. Yeah. So you did it? Mm-hmm. So you took my advice? Mm -hmm. What advice? Advice? Mm -hmm. What advice, Danny? Mm-mm, Danny. You should to get the DNA test results. Oh. What? what? I don't know why they're, they're so surprised because Danny, for me, she can be a good friend, but lately she, she's not been a, lately she hasn't been a good friend. You know, stabbing your friend in the back, telling, uh, gassing, gassing up, uh, gassing up what's the name to get a DNA test. That's not right. Yeah, she she I remember she gassed up Zach to get that DNA test into uh well she didn't tell she didn't tell Zach to go 
and mess up uh, Karen's grand opening, but that's essentially what happened. I missed you. Yes, I missed you too. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to see you. Um. Hey. Yes. What's wrong? Uh, I have something to tell you, and I don't know if you're going to take it well. Okay. You're making me nervous. Talk to me. Penelope is missing, and I think Gary has something to do with it. Oh, what do you mean, missing? I think she may be missing. Wait, you think? Like, what? what is going on? Okay, she isn't answering our calls. Mm -hmm. Her voicemail is full, and then you, you keep asking about her, and it, it made me nervous, so I... You, you, you what? You, what? you I, need I, to talk to me. Okay, I, I went to Gary's office, and I asked him where she was and he was being erratic and evasive and I don't know something is wrong so at this point he still doesn't know he still doesn't know that Gary and Andy were a thing right if I'm not mistaken he doesn't know that they were engaged or whatever so like this relationship is just built on lies but you know that's how Andy is Okay, this this cannot be happening. Babe, I'm... Voice my fault. you was getting the DNA test because Fatima was pushing you to, but no. Here's my friend stabbing me in the back again. Excuse me. I don't stab in the back. If I do it, it's going to be to your face. Okay, okay. Okay, L ladies, sorry to both of you. Okay, yes. We made a decision, but I was still on the fence. Okay, I'll give you that. And yes, I've been telling you that it wasn't all Fatima, so that's on you. It's not on me. But can we just get on with it now? Yeah, let's, let's let go of the drama and um uh, what are the results can let the results what are the Come results on. see with with danny i would just told told danny to step outside because she danny was there to have a conversation with karen and obviously that that conversation can't happen right now whether it was to apologize or whatever but now danny's just there to be a nosy gossip that's the only re reason she's there now Tell Sir Bell, I want to know something. Yes, special guest, yes. Hey. What do you mean you think Gary has something to do with this? Babe, I told you he can't be trusted. He has a very dark and evil side what does that mean gary has done things terrible things and he's gotten away with them so the next comment the next comment should be how do you know these things why haven't you you've known this for how long you knew my, my sister was in danger, but you didn't say anything? Listen, Andy, this man is having a baby with my sister. I know. I didn't know her. I didn't know this before. I said, you still should have told me. I'm sorry. I, I, I was trying to help. I... Okay, yeah, I need you to listen. Okay. There's more. I am telling you now. I'm telling you now is more, okay? I told Penelope about Gary's pad, and I've been trying to help her escape Gary this whole time. Wait, wait, wait. So this, this, this whole thing was going on behind my back, and you didn't tell me? I'm sorry. 
I have got to find my sister. Yes, yes, we should call to the police. That's exactly what I'm about to do. Well, I'm gonna come with you. I'm gonna come with you. Hey, oh. welcome. Please come in. Stop that. I'm just not even funny. Okay. Mm hmm. What is this clown doing here? Oh, he's one of the two people that I actually invited to date. <sighs> yeah, Karen, you really didn't have to invite this guy here to tell me I'm not the father. Yeah, I thought you did say Zach was. See, this is why we have the DNA test results. Correct. Wait, wait, what's going on, Karen? Why am I here? Yeah, why is this clown here, Karen? Zach. Zach is being a, he's being a bozo right now with the, with the jabs. <clears throat> Aaron's being calm and collective. Most of the time it is Zach that starts stuff. Yeah, just calm down. Karen, talk to us. Cool. Look, I wanted you both to be here when I gave the paternity results. <sighs> well, spit it out, girl. I got to go. <laughs> both of you are the fathers. possible hetero paternal super fecundation baby are you speaking in tongues it's a rare occurrence where a woman can become pregnant with paternal twins <gasps> by two fathers <laughs> are you serious like I, you're not I, making this up i couldn't make it up if i tried i swear <clears throat> Showing him first. Oh my god, Zach, grow up. Grow up. Cool guy, but he needs to grow up. <sighs> I'm not even on front. I'm still excited. I hope mine is a girl. Fix that face for <clears throat> Well, uh, this is a lot, actually. Mm. Came to apologize to you. So uh I'm gonna go. You got a lot going on here. Uh Say nothing to the girls, okay? I would not say. Don't. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. So she waited until she got that news, but now she has to go. Forget, forget the talk that. Forget the original reason that I came there for. I, I gotta go now because I need to uh, be messy and cause damage like I always do. So I mean, you know, it's a done deal that she's gonna blab. She can't help herself. That's who she is. Because everyone in this room are the only ones who know. It's a lot of other people that could say something before me. So. Boy, I declare it don't want to say. That's a win. Come on, speak to Miss Danny. Hey. <laughs> okay, babe. Look, uh, I gotta go. The restaurant that I'm eating them at is in Buckhead, so. Yeah. All right. Uh, just out of curiosity, um, no rush. But when when do you think you'll be back? Oh, shouldn't take too long. A couple of drinks, a few giggles, and then it's over. Like, if you had to guess. Maybe it's not gonna take too long. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I really mm -hmm. appreciate it. Y'all be good. Okay. I'm hungry. You got nothing to eat? And, and y'all daddy didn't feed y'all? I guess I have some leftover pizza. I mean, y'all could, you know, you. Oh, my goodness. You know, if anything, he should have left like, you know, 30 bucks to order some food. Or he should have ordered something via delivery or Uber Eats before leaving. That would have made more sense. And even if he forgot, you know, you know, he's going to reimburse her. She, Danny act like she can't uh, order some, order them something to eat. Come on, Danny. Get out of here. Bite, she bite. I don't. 
Miss Danny. Can I play dress up in your closet? No, why don't you watch TV with your brother? You don't like infomercials? Uh, this is a stupid scene right here. Uh, they're just looking at uh, a sex tape, I believe. And then later on, they talk about uh, they're about to try new positions, and she presents him with a condom too small, and he's like, "Oh, you know, I'll take bigger condoms." And I'm like. Obviously, she's gonna mess around and get pregnant, but we're just not gonna talk about that anymore. Look at my eyes, she can't see me. Yeah, I need to come home because I gotta talk to grown folk. I do grown folk. Miss Danny, mm -hmm. what are these for? Poor game, me and your daddy play call. It's poor game. How do you play that? That's your dad, you know. It, is that my dad? I hope so. I do. It's your daddy. Yes. Hey, dad. Hey. Uh, Miss Shaw, you know. I <laughs> hope oh, they weren't too much trouble. <laughs> You get out of here. <laughs> you get. How was your meeting? You know, it was smooth. We went just as anticipated. So everything's good. But look, let me go ahead and get them out of here, get them in the bed, and uh, I'll call you when I get them settled. Okay. All right. Y'all go on. Oh, you might want to feed them. He ate every snack he could find. He's okay. just hungry. Uh, <laughs> Bye, baby. Bye, Miss Nancy. You know, he's a grown boy. I'll take care of him. Come on, y'all. Yep. are you doing here? What the f did you do to my sister? Baby, Whoa, please. what is going on? temper. Like, what did you just say? You heard me, you bastard. Hey, guys. What? You really don't know who I am. Who you, who you are. Wow. Cool, cool, take cool it. Unless you all want to be detained. Next on Sisters. I mean, does anyone not care about Penelope? Hey, you keep her name out of your mouth. Oh, what? Just enough. Super station. Do you even know the percentage of her getting pregnant at the same time by two men. But you really should be upfront about this. I promise you it'll make everything so much easier. I will when I'm ready. No, you're stalking me. Everywhere I go, you want to be. We're in the same womb, bro. Are you telling me Karen has two baby daddies? I'm sorry not to tell you. Oops. Oh, that's it. Guys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I enjoyed this video thoroughly. Uh, <clears throat> let me think, let me think, let me think. The, the sneak peek for next week looks re uh, really juicy. I'm excited to see it. Uh, <clears throat> ending, I saw that... Uh, drop my notes. Uh, the boyfriend, uh, Andy's, Andy's boyfriend... What? He needs to be more upset with Andy. Yes, be upset with Gary also, but uh, Andy is the one keeping information. Andy is the one who uh, Andy is the one who should be truthful with him. And we still haven't gotten to them dating. If 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 Gary drops that, if if he, if, if he says, hey, listen, you know me and. Me and um, Andy had something. We were engaged. That relationship is over. But I guess they're saving that. Uh, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. TikTok, YouTube, uh, and Facebook. Later.